Now, Channel 3, Early Warning Weather. Hi everyone and good afternoon. Hope you're all having a great start. But yeah, you got to bundle up heading out the door. Not like yesterday. Yesterday temperatures were so mild. So today we're back in the 40s. We had a cold front that moved through overnight and that ushered in cooler air. So right now you can see it's 43 degrees in New Haven. We have calm winds though, but a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through those clouds. That's how it's going to be for most of the afternoon. So we're looking at partly sunny skies, colder conditions for today, seasonal conditions for this time of the year for early December and then light snow is in the forecast still for tomorrow. So I'm going to be breaking that down for you, showing you exactly right now what we're expecting with the latest guidance. And then we've got the potential for some mix on Friday morning. So we could be seeing a couple snow showers, some rain showers as well for Friday. So I'm going to show you that as well. A lot to talk about early warning pinpoint Doppler though right now. Not much to talk about here. It's scanning the state completely dry since 24 hours ago. We're down 15 degrees in the Hartford area. So yeah, once again, you need that winter coat. Uh, again, pull it back out of the closet. 13 degrees down in New Haven, uh, 19 degrees cooler in Putnam. Yeah, so right now it's 37 degrees up there. You can see 43 degrees in New Haven as I just showed you, but with the wind chill. So winds are coming in from the west and that's making it feel even a little bit colder. So it feels like it's in the upper 20s so in Salisbury in the 30s for a lot of our state, 37 degrees in Groton. That's what it feels like at the moment. So we've got a little bit of a breeze out there anywhere from three miles per hour to 10 miles per hour today. Day. We're going to be in the 40s throughout most of the state. I think some areas will get into the mid 40s this afternoon. All right, let's get to tomorrow. Everybody's talking about it. What are we expecting with this potential for some light snowfall right now? It doesn't look like we're going to see much accumulation at all. Maybe a coating to two inches in some northern spots, but that's pretty much it. And this will be mainly through the afternoon and the evening, although we can't rule out seeing maybe a couple flurries in the morning as well. So I'm going to show you this on our early morning weather future cast. This is tomorrow weather today. You can see clouds building as we head through the overnight hours into tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we've got the potential maybe for a couple showers. You can see that northwest corner getting brushed by a little bit of snow. This continues as we head throughout the late morning, so we might see a couple snow showers, a couple flurries here or there. Looks like this model is showing the eastern portion of our state seeing the most snowfall if we do see anything uh, at all. So you could definitely see some areas maybe seeing some light accumulating snow as we head through the afternoon and the evening. And of course, we'll be keeping you updated. But this is a look at an interpretation of some of the totals we could be seeing once Again, that northwest corner, that northeast corner, we could be seeing some amounts as well as Tolland, Willimantic, and Norwich. And along the shoreline, looks like we might see more of a mix. Now, here's a look as we head in towards Friday. You could see another system expected to potentially bring a little bit of snowfall, some rain showers too, as the temperatures warm up. Seven day forecast shows us milder for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be back in the 50s. So that means rain showers if we do see any, but breezy conditions really from Saturday into Monday. And once again, milder temperatures and a chance for some rain showers Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning. Kara?